Hey everyone, I'm out here in Ward, Colorado looking for porcini mushrooms. It is probably mid porcini season, I believe. This is my second year um, trying to forage or foraging porcini, and I did find some um, porcini at this spot last year. Look at this dude. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Sadly, I think someone was here foraging this past weekend. Um, that's adorable. But yeah, it looks like someone already foraged these porcinis in this spot. Um, I definitely see some like little scraps here and there of bugged out porcinis, which is to me a sign of people picking them and kind of just tossing them because they didn't want to take them home. Um, I've done that myself, so I assume that's what others do. Uh, but I do see a baby popping up, so I wanted to show you guys that. Um, it's really exciting seeing babies because I always come back like within a week and then kind of document their growth and that's really fun to do. Mushrooms grow extremely fast if you didn't know that. So, baby porcini. It looks honestly like the most deformed porcini I've ever seen. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is the cap and the body is coming out sideways. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I can tell it's a Belitis rubricep because of the orangish rusty cap and the thicky thicky body. So um, I literally found a porcini in this spot uh, maybe like two weeks ago. And actually it looks like there might be another little baby popping up here. Um, it looked like someone picked one right here because you can see some yucky residue. Oh my gosh, um, this happens to me a lot. I don't see mushrooms the first time I'm in a spot and then I keep looking, keep looking, and then I end up seeing one. Um, this is a tiny little porcini. I'm super excited. Feels pretty firm. But there easily could be buggies in there. So cute, a little button. Are you excited we found a mushroom? <gasps> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Okay, let's harvest this little baby. So we got this little baby. Uh, make sure you cut all the way down to the stem because most porcinis grow under, like the base is underground. So when you see it, you often see this much. And the first time I found a porcini, I just went and sliced halfway through the cap and then realized there was a lot more mushroom that I left behind. So I always make sure to dig out my mushroom um, till the very you know, bottom and then twist and turn till it comes out. Or as soon as I pick my mushrooms, I always try to clean them before I put them in my basket because I don't want dust or dirt and stems all up in my mushroom basket. And I definitely recommend this knife uh, it's, I think it's about 20 bucks on the website. I got it at my local knife shop. I'll put a link in the description below. And yeah, this is my go-to. So clean this baby off. Sometimes I kind of just use my hand to guide the knife and gently cut I just got bit by a freaking mosquito. It's worth it though. Definitely porcini, but definitely all bugged out. You can tell this is the cap, probably the stem. <sighs> Sad. And right over here, I found some mushrooms that I just put out 
because they're so beautiful. I had to take some pictures. but it wasn't this color. And um, this one is really young. So as far as I know, coral fungi is not edible. Um, although it's beautiful and it's really exciting to find, that's for sure. So I was walking up into the spot that I found morels in about two months ago, and I happened to come across a few Amanita muscarias. They're pretty young. They still have their universal veil, um, kind of enclosing the cap a little bit. Where there is one, there is usually many. There is a tiny little baby, along with another tinier little baby, almost the size of my fingertip. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Not too sure what these guys are. I assume they're the puffball family, but they feel pretty dry. They look amazing, but they're really tiny. I found this guy from like 10 feet away. I believe it's called a big bleat. Aspen bleat. I'm not too sure. Some people eat this mushroom, although it's not very tasty, and it does cause stomach problems. I see some babies around here, so I'll show you guys those as well. So here's a younger guy. The cap hasn't fully flared out yet, but it's pretty tall already. Cute! Woodier? Smells like crayons. Weird. I'm it's a big old piece of mushroom. So I just found this um, species of Amanita. It's white, unlike its sibling that's red with white dots. This is somewhat of a white tan with white dots. Um, it's easy to identify because all Amanitas have this veil skirt that kind of wraps around the stem. Um, that's where the cap was originally attached to before it broke away and spread out. So we just pulled over, we're going to stop at this well spot, um, we're going to stop and fill up some water, and then drive back to Denver. They're so cute. 